my name is Jonathan Falco, and I'm an engineer at Keysight Technologies. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use an eCal to perform a calibration with the Keysight TDR. Here is the N1055A TDR plus electrical remote sampling heads, a convenient piece of hardware which eliminates the need for connector cables by bringing the measurement equipment to the device under test. Here we have an unknown device that we'd like to test using time domain reflectometry. To make sure we are measuring only the device and no other cables or adapters, we will use an eCal to bring the measurement plane right up to the mate point on our TDR heads. Remember to follow all ESD precautions as the measurement heads are ESD sensitive. The first step to take when calibrating TDR heads is to determine whether or not your measurement head is compatible with your DUT. If your measurement head connects up to your DUT, great! Then all you need to do is hook it up to the eCal and calibrate. If your measurement head does not connect to your device under test, then you must add an adapter to connect your measurement head to the DUT. In order to make sure you are measuring only the DUT and not the adapter, you must use the eCal to shift the measurement plane up to the mate point of the adapter. This means that your measurement head will be calibrated to use the adapter to make TDR measurements. Once you have used the eCal to move the measurement plane to the mate point of the adapter, do not remove the adapter. The adapter is now a part of the measurement head, and removing it will ruin the calibration and any measurements. From now on, we will consider a measurement head and an extended measurement head as the same. Therefore, the following procedures apply whether your measurement head is extended or not. To start this calibration, first plug in your eCal module into a USB port on the mainframe. If you are using the 86100D, then you must plug the eCal module into the rear USB ports. With an N1000A mainframe, you can use any USB port. Once you have plugged in the eCal module, it should light up. If the found new hardware wizard should pop up on the mainframe screen, follow its prompts. Preset your mainframe by pressing the default setup button. At the top left corner of the screen, click the green oscilloscope button, and then click the orange button for TDR slash TDT. The TDR setup window popped up as soon as we entered into the TDR mode. We are only going to use two channels to measure our DUT. Click Change DUT Type, and select Single Ended 2 Port. The DUT layout has changed to a DUT with only two channels connected. If you wish to use different channels, drag them onto the DUT layout from the TDR channel select list, or click Auto Connect in the TDR channels list to let the software decide. Please note the names of the channels, 1A and 1C. The number corresponds with which slot the N1055A is plugged into on your mainframe, and the letter corresponds with the measurement head channel. In the calibration area, click New Calibration. Separate the channels you are using from the channels you are not using. An easy way to do this is to look at the status light on the bottom corner of the measurement heads. The ones you will be using are illuminated. In area number 2, specify Cal Kits and Connectors. Under Calibration Method, select eCal Based. Under DUT Connectors, Specify the connectors your DUT has. In this case, it's 1.85 mm male. The eCal module should already be selected. If you have multiple eCal modules plugged in, make sure you have the correct one selected for your calibration. For now, leave the eCal options empty. Leave areas number 3 and 4 as they are. Next, Click Start Calibration Measurement Wizard. Follow the instructions on the screen very carefully to perform the calibration.
Please remember to follow all ESD precautions when connecting or disconnecting equipment from the TDR. The instructions will walk you through exactly what you need to do to perform an accurate measurement calibration. The calibration wizard will take a few moments to calibrate. If you are using four channels, it will prompt you to switch the heads so all four heads can be calibrated. When the measurement calibration is complete, you will be asked where you want to save the calibration file. Click Browse, navigate to your preferred location, and give the file a descriptive name. Click Done and remove the measurement heads from the eCal module. Congratulations! You have now completed your first N1055A TDR measurement calibration and you are now ready to measure your DUT. To find out more about the N1055A TDR remote sampling heads, visit Keysight's website at www.keysight.com forward slash find forward slash N1055A. Thank you for watching.